Hi, Jonathan Silla here with you. Take another look at working with Power Automate from Microsoft. Today, we're gonna to focus on having our email attachments automatically be added to OneDrive every time they come in. But we need to make sure that we don't just take every email attachment, put it in the same folder. What we're gonna do is make sure that email attachments from other people with inside of our company or our organization go to one folder, while everyone outside of the company go to the other. Let's jump right in. So what you can see here is I have an automated Cloudflow all set up here. And the trigger that I've chosen is when a new email arrives. In this case, for this trigger, we can go in and make some adjustments to the different parts of the trigger itself, like when we want to include email attachments. Of course, we do in this case because we want to save those to OneDrive. So yes, to include those attachments. Yes, to only those with attachments as well, because that's going to make sure that we only get the emails that have those attachments on it. And if we wanted to, we can even add in a subject filter. It's a, it's a contains operation here that we can add in if we wanted to make sure that we're only getting emails with a specific subject line uh, that we have in here. Okay. In this case, I'm going to leave that blank, but that is definitely something we can do to make sure it's only coming uh, for certain emails that have certain subject strings there. The next step we're going to add in here is going to be our check. This check or this condition that we add in here is going to make sure that we can see who this is from coming from. So in this case, our value to choose is the from, and instead of is equal to, we're going to choose contains. And this is where I'm just going to put in pragmatic works because that's going to be part of the email address, the domain that we have coming with the email address that we can search for each and every single time. Instead of searching for an individual or if it contains from one person's name or another, we're going to do for the entire organization here. So now if it contains, if this, the from line here contains pragmatic works, what I'd like to do is go ahead and create that file in OneDrive. So add an action and we're gonna to go to OneDrive. And then we can come here and we can make sure we are choosing OneDrive for business because that's what my company is has here. And then we're gonna go ahead and choose Create File. And when I choose Create File, this is where we are gonna choose the path of the folder. If I go to my OneDrive here, you can see I have two folders that I've created for this purpose. One is my customer documents, one is my pragmatic works attachments. So that's the one I'm gonna use here if that condition is true. So I'm gonna go point to that path, and there we have pragmatic works attachments as our folder path. The file name is going to be the name of the attachment. So we're gonna go and choose attachments name. And the moment we do that, you will notice we have an apply to each. That apply to each is occurring because for each attachment, we are gonna create a, an individual file each and every single time. So here for the file content, we can come and choose attachments content as well. And this will let us know that for each attachment we get, we're gonna create a new file in OneDrive. What I'm gonna do is rename my apply to each here to make sure that I know exactly what the purpose of this. So apply to each email attachment from Pragmatic Works. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and choose create file. I'm gonna rename this as well. I'll say create file in pragmatic works attachments. All right, so there it is. So now what I'll do for the if no is essentially the exact same step here, but just on the if no side. All right, so we can come choose our add an action and we're gonna create file in OneDrive. Okay, there it is, OneDrive for business. And we'll go ahead and choose our path again. I'm gonna go choose my other folder here for my path. The file name, attachments name. There's our apply to each once again. File content, attachments content. And now after we rename this, as I come in here, just go ahead and rename this, create file for customers and then apply to each, I'll rename this, and we're gonna say apply to each email attachment 
from outside customers. Okay, and there it is. That's the flow. That's how easy it can be to go ahead and set this up. So you have the two sides of the flow from here to be able to go ahead and point to those two locations, depending upon if they're inside of the organization or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and save and test this to see how it works both ways. Select test, we'll do a manual test and run it from here. The first test I will do will be from myself. So I'll send it to myself. It has my own email string in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it to myself here. And I'll do this test one from inside organization. And then I'll go ahead and add an attachment and hit send. All right, so there we go. The flow has successfully run. Let's take a look at our condition. It has rung true in this case because it did contain pragmatic works as far as the email is concerned, the from here. And you can see if we go and we can take a look, we have making sure all of those different parts of the email have rung true as well. And there it is. That means if I go to our path here for pragmatic works attachments, I should be able to see that document in here. And there it is. There is a document I've just sent. Now we can test it on the other one and see if it works the other way by sending another email. I'll do another test here rather than just running it. I'll do another manual test and go from there. This time I'm gonna send this from a different account which is outside of our tenant. I'll go ahead and send it to myself. And I'll do test from outside customer and add an attachment. All right, there it is, our attachment's there, and I'm gonna hit send. And we should see this go down our other path. And this second test has also run successfully. Let's take a look, there it is. It is false because it does not contain pragmatic works in the from. That means we've added it into our other folder path here for customer documents. I'm gonna go take a look here. Take a look at that, there it is, there's our second one. So we now have the ability to set up a flow that runs automatically each time, so that every time I get an email, we're gonna automatically decide, using Power Automate, where to store those email attachments. Thanks again for joining me here in YouTube, taking a look at how we can utilize Power Automate from Microsoft to make our everyday tasks just a little bit easier. Go ahead and drop a like and hit that subscribe button below to get more content from myself and all of us here at Pragmatic Works.